all right hey everybody i wanted to uh record this video real quick so as some of you may know we've been doing a lot of flying on the channel a lot of flying on stream um we went from knowing not very much about the 737 to uh getting a pretty good handle on it thanks to uh a lot of people helping out i have a lot of people to thank for that uh including the man sitting next to me we got jeff with us today hello hello uh, so we're going to be doing a, a shared cockpit flight uh, from KLX to San Jose. So I just wanted to show everybody kind of the CRM side of things. Um, how, you know, how we get in, the, get in the plane ready to go from cold and dark and all the way up. So uh, we're going to show you kind of where we're at right now. So we base our, our, our checklists and our kind of procedures and stuff like that off of Delta. Mind you, it's not you know exactly the standard or exactly because we're not trained pilots let's make that very clear uh, but that's what we kind of base our stuff on because it's, it's nice just to have a standard especially for the socal team just so everyone's on the same page but yeah i just wanted to show you kind of how far we've come and we're gonna do a nice flight we're in the beautiful amua one livery today out of lax it's beautiful southwest livery love this livery one of my favorites so it should be a good flight. So we're going to continue here with our uh, pre-flight checklists and our and our uh, flows and stuff. We already got the APU running right now. Jeff's working on the FMS. Uh, we got the packs on, air conditioning's on, and then we'll shortly be going through pre-flight checklist and all that good, good stuff from there. And then we'll good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of take it from there. PDF here. Cost index five today. That's very slow. Uh, reserve's gonna be 4.8. Go. For those wondering, we uh, we planned a route on Simbrief, and that's where we're getting all these numbers from. Yep. So it Putting gives it all in us, right now. Gives us our whole routes. Gives us our fuel, our payload. Did we do fuel and payload already? Yep. Oh my man, he's on it. So we've already I'm set. On it. It's already set fuel and payload in the PMDG setup. So fuel, that's the first thing you want to do, and then you'll do your uh, your routes, and then you'll do your in it ref. I don't see it there. V1 135, BR 137, V2 will be 147. I'll put that in there. I got your runway heading, and then our first kind of altitude restriction there. Uh, yep, we want 5,000. That's what the SID told us. Oh, that's right. Yep. 5,000 there. 251's great. Got your Flight directors on. are good. Yep. You mean we should put 175 in there because that's what our uh, V2 <laughs> will be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, sweet. That oh, I should, be, I should be doing my, my test for you. I've done all my tests. Oops. Oh, yeah. You're good. Do those oh, tests clear. We'll do some fire tests. Squibs. I gotta wait for all these those lights to stop flashing. That was the takeoff warning check. You heard yeah, it. I heard it. Oh, it'd help if I. Yeah, idiot. There we go. Scripts are good. We'll do our test. They're very adamant about this 128.050. So I guess I'm going to departure frequency. That's what they want. It's the same for ground. So 128.050. I'll do it. All right. Uh, what what they want you to squawk? I already got in there. 7774. Seven, 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 Beautiful. Good yeah, we're all stuff. set on our, um, all set on the uh, FMC on my side. Hey, perfect. Um, all right. Uh, uh, you can get rid of the chocks, actually. I'm going to go gotcha. ahead and, I think I see a guy out here. I'm going <laughs> to give him the, yeah, give him the thumbs chocks up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. They're going to remove the chocks. Yeah. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Hey, chocks going off. Beautiful. Um, okay, I'll put legs on my side. So, what was I thinking? Oh, uh, altimeter two nine or nine or one. It should be. Yep, I have that set. Cross checked. Oh, not for me. I'll set mine. There, set. Did I fuck yours? Yeah, I up? have the ADIS, by the way. If you need, if you want to go through it. Yeah, I got it. We'll do that. We'll do it on the briefing, so it'll be fine. Okay. Actually, I'll even bring it over to the screen so everyone can see the ATIS. Here's the ATIS. 
if anyone's wondering. So two nine nine one. We got uh, information tango. Information tango. All right, we'll let. Uh, oh, you get to do the briefing, baby. Let's go. Let's see it. Let's. Oh we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna hear a Jeff Faviano briefing. Do <laughs> you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do it. Let's do it, man. I, I got my navigator ready to go here on screen. All right, sweet. Open my charts up and we'll start. Airport information. Wonderful. Got it. All right. Before uh, we take off today, we are in agreement that anything that happens before V1, we will uh, rotate. We'll reject the takeoff and uh, <laughs> we're going to we're going to exit off of uh, Zulu or Alpha Alpha today. Uh, actually, yeah, Zulu or Alpha Alpha. Yep. Alpha 2-4 left today. 10,885 feet of runway so not a problem um so that's how i like to fly anything afterwards we'll take it to the sky and we'll deal with it then um i have no problems with you helping me out with mcp and all that stuff but uh, we all know how that all goes so uh you know how i fly with you so yes, i'm ready sir. to start the briefing when you are let's do the briefing my man all right cool i got 10-9 uh effective 17th february 23 and uh we are over here on gate 13 we're gonna push off uh, into the alley, uh, tail to the left, nose to the right. And we are going to expect to taxi to runway two, four left via Delta seven, uh, then echo to echo six and we'll hold short right there. 10,885 feet of runway, plenty there today. No hot spots on the way out. Everything looks good as far as that goes. Our departure Sid here today is going to be on the find it here it's down it's here summer two rnav departure i've got 10-3 tango yep uh first of november 2019 hasn't changed anytime um so looking out of here we got 251 heading you've already got that selected for me thank you for doing that uh we have 640 on our altitude there and then 3000 at delray and then uh we go up to 5000 to any we've already got that climb via sit except maintain 5000 that's why we have that in there and then we'll expect uh Nankin on out to dark, 12,000 feet, then summer, and then on our way up to San Jose today. Looking at the initial climb off of 24 left, climb heading 251 to 640, then climb direct to cross Delray at or below 3,000, then on track 256 to cross any at or below 5,000, then on track 253 to Nank, and then on track 253 to cross dark at or below 12,000, then on track 260 to summer. And that is confirmed in the FMC, sir. Yes, it is. Uh, do you have any additions to our departure briefing? Yes, weather. Weather, good one. Uh, we got uh, ATIS information tango right now. Winds are 250 at six knots, three miles of visibility. We got mist in the area, scattered clouds at 300, overcast at 500. Altimeter 299 or one set and cross checked on both sides. And uh, that is pretty much all we got going on. They, they've got approaches coming in on 2 4 right. Uh, so that we should expect our departure on 24 left. Yep, that sounds great. So not much wind and pretty good visibility, scattered clouds a little bit, but nothing nothing crazy. So pretty yep, straightforward. We're really, yeah, we're close to the two to the two fours. So we're going to go ahead and do a dual engine taxi today. I'll call that uh, briefing complete. Nicely done. That is a Jeff Fabiano briefing right there. Your <laughs> it's as good as you're gonna get, dude. You're man. You put you put a, you put the recording on. And this guy performs under pressure, man. My God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every time your briefings are good, dude. All right, we're ready for the pre-flight checklist. All right, pre-flight checklist coming in, Captain. Interior and exterior inspection. Uh, negative. Complete. Circuit breakers on. checked. Having display approach. switches. Oh, Normal and auto. Passenger signs yeah. are on. Window heat is on engine bleed air switches on pressurization panel set set my side we, we say that because your controls you have to do this for each person just yep. in case you want to do this with a buddy of yours if you both have to do this uh pressurization mode selector uh is auto all right mcp is set and it's set uh oxygen mask checked 100% left side. And 100% right. Altimeters. Got 2991 set cross checked. 2991 set cross checked. Uh, flight nav instruments. Checked. Warning enunciator, enunciator lights. Checked. Speed brake. Down. Takeoff warning. 
Checked and closed. And just start levers. Cut off. Stab trim cutout switches. Normal. Fire warning. Checked. Radios and transponders. Set. Radar. Off. Rudder and ailer on trim. Free and zero. Park and brake. Set. Windows. Close and lock left. Close and lock right. Flight attendant briefing. Complete. Departure briefing. Complete. Logbook and QRHs. On board. Fuel required. Fuel required is going to be 15.5. We got 16 on board. 15.5 and we got 16 on board. That is briefly checklist complete. Wonderful. Let you do your flows All and right, uh, let's do this. We'll call for a push and start. Flows coming in. Mm. Uh, yep, Pro Pete will come on after. All right. Just make sure doors drop down, flip down. Okay, I'm ready for a pushback checklist. All right, pushback checklist. Have at her. All right, doors are closed. Hydraulic. Let me just double check his PMDG. I'm just going to, you know. Yep. It's, this is always something good to check, guys, especially in your controls. Yep, doors are closed. Uh, hydraulic panel is set. Fuel panel is set. Flight deck door is closed and locked. And we're going to go ahead and put our transponder down into transponder mode over here. And that is pushback checklist complete, Captain. All right, good. I got the anti-collision light on and I'm going to give them a call for push. Beautiful. All right. Do it's we, really narrow through here. We don't have to ask to push in okay. on this because it's a uh, alleyway. I'm looking at the charts here. Um, but uh, but uh, and I looked on there. It didn't say to call to, for push and start, so I don't want to annoy them. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're not pushing into anything here. It's just the alley, so that works for me. Um, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and go to. We'll call for we'll call for taxi though. Push back. Yes, we will call for taxi. So it's gonna be. All right. All right. We're gonna start our pushback. All right. Southwest 2163 SoCal departure. I don't have a flight plan on file for you. Oh my god, I typed it everything in, but I forgot to file it. Uh, I'm filing it right now, so you should see it any second now. Roger. Right. Brakes, released. Brakes are released. Clear to push. Alrighty. Good stuff. As soon as we start moving here, I'll let you know. Hey. All right, we cleared it. Uniform. Start engine now, two, it, then one. Visibility three. Two, then one. Start and turn. Missed. Start and two. Scattered 300, ceiling 500, overcast. Altimeter 2991. Looks like we just got to update the ADIS uniform. Yeah, we'll get that later. And 22.7. Come on in. Flip on his file. So if we can get our fire clearance with the Sacramento. Thank you. Oh, that's 2163. Thank you for that. There it goes. Starting engine one. I'll get our updated uh, ATIS. Got information uniform. It's going to be 2506 knots, three miles visibility, missed in the area, scattered clouds 300, overcast 500, 291901. Information uniform. Okay. Let me do my after start flow here, real quick. They're departing on our runways, but they're bringing traffic in on six right. Interesting. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's that weird flow. Delta 211 or my 26 right to the end of November. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm good for after checklist if you're ready for it, Captain. 
All right. Um, let's get legs up on the right hand FMC, if you don't mind. Oh, my bad. That's right. That's okay. There I have go. mine still on that uh, PMDG stuff as well. All right. After star checklist, please. All right. Generators are on. Propeats. It is on. Propeat is on. Anti ice. Off. Air conditioning panel is set. Recall is. Man, my frames are not checked. And auto brakes now go to RTO. And that is after start checklist complete. All, All right. right. Go ahead and uh, give them a call for taxi. Give a call for taxi. Approach good evening, Southwest 127, ready for taxi out of stand 13, and we have information uniform on board. Southwest 127, SoCal approach low, runway 25, right taxi via Delta, Kilo, Bravo. Taxi to runway 25 right via Delta, Kilo, Bravo for Southwest 127. That's going to be a long, long taxi. taxi. We just went into noise abatement. <laughs> they went into noise abatement, that's why. They said, sorry for the long taxi. All right, I'll go ahead and change that up. Not a problem for our departure runway. Let's go into here, and we're going to go to 25 right for departure now. Yep. And it's going to delete our takeoff speeds. I'm fine with that. Execute that. Everything's the same, uh, except for our runway heading. We're going to have to adjust that off of the charts. So let's go back to our yep. uh, departure here. If you want to start taxiing, I can pull that up for you, my man. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate you. I got you. Oh, dude, it's the same runway heading. 25 right. Yeah, yep. climb heading uh, 251 to 640, then climb direct climb Beautiful. direct to cross Docker at or below 3000, then on track to 252 to cross Evos at or below 5000, then on track to 252 to McGee, and then, which is all in there. Beautiful. Yeah, everything's good. FMAS looks good. Um, Sounds good. Same same altitude restrictions and everything. So we're, we're good to go, man. All right, taxi checklist, please. All right, taxi checklist. We got flaps. Five, 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 green. And we got five, 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 green. And takeoff speeds. 135, 137, 147 set. 135, 137, 147. And up top, 147 sets. Thrust. Takeoff. Takeoff. Set stab trim. Is going to be 5.39 set. 5.39 set. I'll take your word for it because my trim wheel doesn't move when you're flying. Yep. And that That's all good. is uh, flight controls. Flight controls checked. All right. Taxi checklist complete. We got ourselves a long taxiway here, folks. Yes, we do. Long taxi. Yep. Okay. All throttle coming on. Go ahead and uh, select uh, heading select for me too, if you don't mind. Got it. Go T A R A. And we'll go continuous. Okay, man. I'm ready for that checklist whenever you want. All right, before takeoff checklist, please. All right, runway position. We got two five right, inside and outside. Two five right, inside, outside, flaps. Flaps are uh, five five green. Five five green, navigation briefing. Complete. Takeoff warning. Check. 
All throttles are armed. Engine start switches have gone to continuous and we're tr transponder is set to T-A-R-A and flight attendants have been notified. We are before takeoff checklist complete. Excellent. Give them a call. I'm now ready to go. Two okay. five right. I will give them a call here. Center Southwest 127, holy short of runway two five right and we're ready to go. So it's 127, Roger, fly runway heading, runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, clear for takeoff, 25 right, southwest 127. I got lights on my side, starting the clock. Get lights on my side. Do a southwest style takeoff too. And toga. Airspeed alive. 80 knots, throttle hold, thrust normal. E1, e one rotates. Pause the rate. Gear up. Gear up. B nav. B nav. Southwest 127, turn left heading 210, radar contact, say altitude. Turn left heading 210, we're passing 1500 for Southwest 127. Southwest 127, Roger, I'm going to maintain 13000. Up to 13000 for Southwest 127. And he said 210. 210, yeah. And I'll get your flaps right now, flaps one. Yep. I'll get your 210, sir. And we're at uh, we're going up to one three thousand. Getting that set for you. Yep. Looks good. Pops up. Pops up. Okay, come on up. There we go. And one three thousand coming into the altitude. One three thousand set. One three thousand set. And I'll do my after start checklist. I'm gonna do this verbally for you guys, but we do this. Uh, we do this. Uh, this is a quiet checklist usually. Uh, flaps are up. Landing gear is up and off. Packs are auto. Engine bleed starts. Engine bleed switches are on. Pressurization panel is checked. Engine start switches are off, and APU is off. After start. Check, after takeoff checklist complete. I would just verbally say that to Jeff that the takeoff checklist is complete, which it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Good flying. Good takeoff. You got it, man. That was fun. We blasted right through the marine layer. Yeah, that looked good. All right, I'm going to stop a uh, recording there. Zero wings 304, on my 25 right tank, CVA Bravo. Sadly, you might not be able to get Bravo, the same right. weather conditions. You could try to probably rebuild it. Yeah, I could try to mimic it. Yeah. Also, remember what time we're Southwest at. Southwest 127, oh. turn right direct summer, climb via summer to departure. Turn right, direct to summer, and we'll climb by summer to departure for Southwest 127. All right, clear to summer. Let's go direct. Direct summer coming in for you on the FMC for you. Execute that. And would you like uh, LNAV, sir? Yes, please, LNAV. Oh, LNAV coming in. Did he say what? Did he, I forget. Did he say what else did we go up to? One tree thousand. Oh, he said uh, climb via the uh, summer two departure. Okay, so I'll just. Yep. That means we can we're clear to climb up. <laughs> so I'll put yep, the, we're clear to climb. I'll put our crews in. Three two oh, yep. Because our for me. our FMS is gonna handle that restrictions. Well there anyways. is a couple of those restrictions we saw on our uh, departure. Yeah, our FMS has it. Sweet. So we're good. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, gonna be yeah, he cut out all the other smaller restrictions. Yep. So we're, yeah, he's helping us out actually. Yep. We're climbing up to 32,000 set on the altitude. Thank you, sir. Yep. 320 set. Southwest 127 LA Center's just closed up. Your radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Good night. Over to Unicom. Thank you for the great ATC for Southwest 127. All right. Over to Unicom. And uh, you can go ahead and give them a ding. We're above 10,000. All right. I'll get us over to Unicom now. 
It's all right, trying to do this. Oop, one, two, three. Oh, you're fine. Man, SoCal, Southwest 21, CG3, short of 25 right. Uh, full length, uh, ready for tour, uh, ready for takeoff. Southwest 2163, fly runway heading, runway 25 right. And we're over to Unicom there and giving them a ding. I can use their portable electronic devices now. As long as they're in airplane mode. As long as they're in airplane mode. Please refrain from the use of e-cigarettes, including vaporizers, <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> well, that's pretty. That was a pretty smooth. Uh, it's pretty pretty smooth procedures there. Yep. Yeah. Not so, bad at all, man. One note for you guys: if you're ever working in like a CRM type environment with other people doing your controls, is drop any egos that you both have. Like Jeff was reminding oh, yeah. me, he's like, "Hey, start your clock." I don't take that personally, man. There's a lot going on, if, especially if you're handling ATC and trying to get the plane going. So we just, we help each other out, man. There's no egos. There's, if you want to clarify stuff, just talk it out. You want to have a good open relationship with your, uh, with your fellow pilot. Uh, on command A and it's my MCP. That is your MCP. So now uh, Jeff is in control of the MCP. Whereas you saw me, I was messing with um, altitude and headings there as a ATC was doing it because Jeff was flying the plane. He was hand flying it. Uh, it's saying unable to 80 knots at trucks. Um, I'll go ahead and. Yeah, I cleared it. You cleared it? Okay, then clear for me. I'll clear it on my side. There yeah, cleared on your end. It always tells you that, but that's not true. Yeah. We'll, we'll easily be able to make 280 at trucks. Yeah. Doesn't trust us. Um, so, what I'll do now, it looks like we'll have Oakland Center for our next, um, next airspace. So, I'm just going to pre program that into our radio panel here so Sounds it's good one tree two point uh two we'll get that set ready to go yep. 132.2 and she's set ready to go All right, 18,000 feet. I'm going to go standard pressure, set cross-checked, and turn my landing lights off now. All right, lights, swing light coming off my side. And that is our climb checklist complete. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, that's the best checklist we have. Is It's <laughs> altimeter, standard, cross-checked, done, easy. Done. Dump it. Dump it. All right, coming up on cruise altitude, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that fast seatbelt sign off. Let him move about the cabin. Alrighty, you can go ahead and say hello to them if you want to. Before we head our head down, we still got about 80 miles till we descend. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, update from the flight deck here. We're reaching our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet. Beautiful afternoon here in uh, Los Angeles area. We'll be uh, making our way over to San Jose today. And uh, we'll be touching down at uh, in about uh, about 35 minutes. We'll be touching down. Thank you for choosing Southwest. Hopefully, nobody uh, had some fights over their seats. I don't really know how that works. I've never flown Southwest. I just fly it up here. Thanks for thanks for flying with us. We love you. All right, time for the <laughs> briefing. Uh, let's pull up Silicon 6R nav arrival. It's going to be 10 2 kilo, effective the 14th of July. Uh, Trox is going to be our transition. You can see right there, 280 knots. Tree 20, we're perfectly fine with that. We want the lower one since we're going to be landing on the three zeros. Uh, three zero left in this case. Silicon's going to be at uh, flight level 200, 280 knots. So 280 all the way in. 
Valley 280 knots, flight level 190, and then uh, we continue on in off of, I believe we're making that right turn to Guy. Let's double check that with our legs page here. We have a couple options, but yeah, we do have Guy there. So the Guy's going to be 11,000 feet. Then Wilson, obviously, uh, slowing down again, 250 knots, 11 at 8,000 feet. Then uh, I guess he's going to be at uh, 4,200 feet. And then at uh, Clyde, we're going to be 230 knots, 4,000 feet, and we'll expect radar vectors for final approach for runway 30 left. Bringing up the approach chart for 30 left, ILS Loke, runway 30 left. I've got 11 2, second April 21, 110 9 set both sides, 306 set both sides, and our minimum's 257. That is set. We're going to come in off Clyde, 4,000 feet. Zolop's going to be 3,600, 3,200. Kind of a step down there, but final approach fix at Hyvax going to be 2,700 feet. We got Mouser lighting, four pappies on the left-hand side. Our missed approach procedure will be climbed to 1,900 feet. And the San Jose VOR will be 114.1. Radial 303 to San Jose, and then we'll hold uh, out at RTAC. And if you have a look here, it tells you right there to RTAC. Uh, and that's going to be a... Uh, DME of seven miles from San Jose and hold. So we got there. Going to open up our taxi charts here. Airport information 10 9, 4th of March 2022. 3 0 left is what we're going to expect. You might give us a visual approach 3 0 right. It's pretty nice out today. We'll see what they uh, end up giving us here. 3 0 left, 11,000 feet of runway. Plenty there. We're going to be doing auto brakes one uh, and then into terminal B today. We'll probably make a right turn, uh, probably a Juliet or Kilo, cross runway 30 right, uh, and then we will make a right-hand turn, and we'll take Yankee down to the terminal, then left turn, probably Juliet into the ramp. Uh, we'll get our gate information here in just a few moments, and I'm looking right now for any uh, ATIS. They have no ATIS up here for us, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the meter for that. So it's going to be... KSJC. I'm going to get the meter. That's going to be VFR conditions there. We got uh, winds 3205 knots. We got 10 miles visibility, clear skies. Altimeter is 2992, so standard pressure pretty much all the way through. So I'm going to set 2992 early on. That's set and cross checked. Any additions or anything to add? Or obviously the same thing. And any, any additions? Um, I was just questions. I was looking at the arrival chart. We do have some terrain, but it looks like we like we basically split it. That's just something to be aware of. Nothing too crazy there. Yep. No, that's good. Uh, good call on that one. So we'll do terrain radar on your side on the way in. Sounds good. I will throw awesome. that on now. Sounds good. We'll call that uh, com complete. Sounds Briefing complete. Right on, my man. And you got auto brakes one. Auto brakes one. Nice. Did you do um, landing data like uh, flaps 30? Yeah, I can do that now, actually. We're going to be flaps 30, 146 plus five. Beautiful. Set. I see it there. Looks like we have, a route. We have a route disco there. Uh, we'll likely get vectored in, but it's after Kildy. Uh, Clyde. Or Clyde. Yeah, it goes Clyde. That's going to be that 4,000. And the, uh, then Jeunesse. Then Jeunesse. Jeunesse is the one. It's on the uh, three zero left approach at thirty two hundred. Yeah, you can go ahead and clear that disco if you want to. Just bring Jeunesse up there to underneath the Clyde. I'm on it. JetBlue uh, four two three requesting taxi. Do Sorry, I didn't, I didn't ask for you to confirm that before I. Nope. Yep, it's uh, all good, man. Any get past uh, company? Oh, top of drop. It's almost top of drop. We'll go 4,000 on her altitude because she's probably going to have us descend on the uh, on the arrival. So he's probably going to tell us to descend via the Silicon 6 arrival, so I'll just put 4,000 in there. It's got beeped. 4,000 set. All right, go and give him a call. He'll probably descend us now. Oakland Center, good evening. Southwest 127 with you at flight level 320. Southwest 127, Oakland, take a good evening. Radar contact over the past level of the war. This one, we have the Silicon 6 arrival. Expect IRS 30 left approaching to San Jose, where the altimeter is currently reading 29092. 
The send by the Silicon Six arrival. We'll expect 30 left. 299 or two on the old tipner for Southwest 127. Tip at 422, wind 2 0 left, clear for takeoff. Beautiful job, man. We're going to be starting our way down here in just a few moments. He just said that we're clear to go, so I'm going to go to Descend page and Descend now and hit Execute, so we're ahead of schedule. And he asked us to Descend, so we're going to Descend. Beautiful. On the Silicon 6 arrival. Down we go. I'm going to go ahead and get our seatbelt sign back on, so we don't have to mess with it later on down when we get busy. And down we go. Down we go. Okie dokie, will do. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Top left, 454. See ya. See ya. It's a seal. Seal. <laughs> Oakland Center, Chip Blue 2435. I didn't even say C anymore. I was going to. Chip Blue 2435. Yeah, it's like I told you, I said we're probably going to get Terminal B, is what I said in the briefing. Yeah. Which, that's all southwest gates there, but yeah, we'll go down to 33. So we'll probably get. <laughs> we'll probably exit Juliet. Hey, affirmative. Um, yep. Cross runway. Trees are right, and then so on to uh, Yankee. Yep, Actually, no, Yankee probably down. not Yankee or, or Zulu. Yeah, those. Yankee, and then we'll take Echo into thir to 33. Yankee, Echo. Okay, nice. But it's Thank weird because it's going to be a stand. So it's an outdoor right stand, I think, uh, here at San Jose. It's a little bit different. One eight miles east of Avenal, Let's see if there's any other gates that are like that. Hold on. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do gate 26 today. Gate 26? Okay, beautiful. Yep. We'll do gate 26, so we'll exit uh, 3 0 left at Juliet, cross 3 0 right, and then right turn on Yankee, and then we'll take uh, golf and then make that right straight into, uh, into 26. Nice. That's the plan. A little turbulence. Oh, yeah. From these mountains. A little turbulence from the mountains. RNP's looking good. 83 above, but it's getting it back down under control. No problem. 18 now. We're going to be 299 or 2, which is basically the exact same thing. Go and up. I got my landing Step lights. Lights uh, on my side. Excellent job. Let's do a uh, descent checklist, please. Got it. Altimeters. Altimeters 299 or 2, minimum. set cross check. 299 or 2, set cross check minimums. Yeah. Minimums, I got 257 set cross check. 257, take your word for it, set cross check. Landing data. Landing data is going to be flaps 30, 145 plus 5, so 150 is what I'm going to shoot for on final. Bringing out the speed brake right now to flight to 10. Perfect. All right, we got um, auto brakes are set to 1. Or sorry, excuse me. Approach briefing complete. Auto brakes set to 1. Seatbelt signs are on. Yes, they are. Pressurization panel is still set and recall. I'll get on the recall, which is rare for this plane. Sometimes you get some weird recalls. So, <laughs> yep. That is descent checklist complete. Wonderful. Still descending on the arrival. Looking good here on RMP. Uh, you are about 120 miles. You should probably start descending. Uh, how about you start descending? Um... All right. I'm going to put the speed brakes away. They're armed. Ooh, contrail above us. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. That is JetBlue 423. I see his lights. They're actually fairly close. Yep. He is uh, going to LAX from San Francisco. JetBlue. That's cool, man. You're getting good shots of, like, planes flying over <laughs> yeah, and stuff. this is awesome. This has gone pretty, like, so far, it's gone really well. well. Yeah, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Oh, you're going to grease it. <laughs> Tom wins, man. Yeah, it's nothing. It's five knots. You got a one right knot, down the runway. One knot crosswind. Like, mm, yep. you're good. Even if you don't, it'll be a legal doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Some of these microphones, though. Oh, my goodness. That's too loud. Take it. Yep, real bad. All right, we're below send 10,000, so I'll be yep. listening in. Give him a ding. And uh, descend on to 1, 5,000, and Sacramento altimeter 2, 9, 8, 2, southwest. Oh. Uh, it's actually modest altimeter. I'll give you the Sacramento altimeter as you get close. Oh, Roger. 
kind of hard to hear this controller too. Yeah, he's he's a fast talker. Well, he's soft. Yeah. Southwest 127 at Clyde, clear the ILS 230 uh, left approach. Clear the ILS 30 left approach for Southwest 127. So we're cleared for the approach at Clyde. So we're basically LNAV all the way in. We'll arm that approach and everything will get down on there. It's uh, looking really good here. Once we get closer to Clyde, we're going to be right at that 15 ring. So we'll, uh, we'll be flaps one and all that right around. Yep, I'll be ready, sir. Yep, all these clouds are coming right over the top of them and it's going to open up and be beautiful on the other side. Split these. Look at that mountain we're splitting. That looks awesome. All right, approach checklist, please. Um, approach checklist. We got flight nav instruments. Verified. Cabin notifications. Complete. Altimeters. Two nine or nine or two set cross check. Two nine or nine or set cross checked. Sorry, two nine or nine or two set cross checked, and that is checklist complete. Awesome. Let's go ahead and we're going to be slowing down here. I'm going to give some uh, more speed break out here. Get back down to 240. Good stuff. Oh, this views looks so good out the window. Oh, I know, man. This arrival is beautiful. Gives a five knot buffer here. All right. Uh, flaps one, please. Last one. Speed check. Moving center. In front, center zero. Hello. In front, center zero. Open the day. Good evening. Flaps one green. Flaps one Oops. green looks good. Hello. Let's go. Speed Flaps speed five. Four. Flaps five. Speed Only check. Good. Uh, F and Sub Zero, since uh, you just reconnected your flight plan. Right, awesome. Go ahead and put, put the speed brake away. It's armed. 1,000 to go. 1,000 to go. There you go, F and Sub Zero. And flaps five Thank green. You. I'll let you know when it shows. Oh, there you go. Looks good there. We've got 3,200 here. Uh, squawk uh, 4263. There we go. You want my arm? airplane? Your oh, airplane. Would you, you like to arm the approach? Arm the approach, approach please. Yep. Yes. Approach armed. Thank you, sir. It just deselected. I'm gonna hit it again. I don't know if it's armed. I, for nope. Me. I got I got VR oh, and glide slope. That's the reason why it's gone. We just grabbed it. Okay, we're so bang, uh, you're good. Right on. Yep. Sorry, we're good. You said you were going to ILS, right? I like to hand fly my approaches. Yeah, you're you're good for that, man. Got the runway in sight. We're 14 so like miles out. Clear to land. Clear to land. Southwest 127. Clear to land. Clear to land. Southwest 127. Clear to land. Sir, taxi. Or, uh, yeah, taxi light came on for landing clears. Sounds good to me. I got runway in sight. All right. I'm going to get my... There we go. That's rolling. 961 Heavy San Francisco Altimeter 2992. 2992 Southwest twenty one sixty three continue descent to one zero ten thousand feet. Sacramento altimeter uh, correction capital altimeter is two nine eight one. Alright, continue descent down to one zero ten thousand and altimeter two nine eight one southwest twenty one sixty three. Gear down, flaps fifteen. Speed check, gear down, flaps fifteen. Going down to one fifty. All concern at Golden Gate 35 for permission to step down away three for green. one minute. Flaps 15 green. Go to the Gate 35, no problem. Report back. A firm report back, Golden Gate 35. My throttles. Your throttles.
And flaps 30. Flaps 30. Welcome center, Golden Gate 35 is back. Golden Gate 35, welcome back. That didn't work, let's do that again. Thank you. Scan name 936, you are leaving my airspace. No further ADC uh, frequency change to unit comments approved. Good day. Scandinavian 936, switching in, good night. Alright, Real world on this flight tonight. Down three green. Down nice. three green flaps. Flaps are uh, 30 30 green. Speed brake is armed as the star switch is continuous. Checklist complete. Thank you, sir. Got my taxi light. It's already been put along when we got clearance. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, right over these buildings here. Nice. Yep. Stable approach. Looking good. Nine six one heavy cancel star fly heading zero seven zero vectors for the uh, visual approach from a two eight right. Cancel star right uh, zero seven zero vectors ILS uh, correction visual way right. Request ILS way right. Uh, United 6 1 Happy, Roger. You can expect that. ILS 2 8 right. Uh, fly heading of. Okay, so ILS, I gotta turn you a little bit more. Um, fly heading of 080. 080 for ILS 2 8 right. Thanks about United 6 1 Place threshold here. Welcome to San Francisco International Airport. Wake it left. Bravo to the ramp. This is free. He Two in reverse. Manual braking. Manual braking. Southwest 127. Welcome to San Francisco Minute International. Oh, not Minute. They say it's called something else. San Francisco International Airport. Wake it right. Cross the right. And Rampy, a Yankee, this frequency tonight. We'll be vacating right, cross three zero right, and then Yankee into the ramp. Thank you for the great ATC, for South one, Southwest one twenty seven. Yes. And All right. Cross in here. I'm gonna keep my lights on for now. We'll make a right turn on Yankee after cross. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Nice landing, dude. I'm gonna start cleaning up the airplane for you. All right. Appreciate that. And you're clear to start the APU. All right. Grab my lights here. My lights on this side. APU is firing up. All right. We're going to uh, 26, right? Yeah, gate 26. There's a couple Southwest airplanes up here. Got my radar off. Yeah, beautiful flight. 53 minutes. Southwest land 53. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm going to do this verbally just for everybody. After landing checklist, initial switches are off. Flaps are up. Speed brake is down and radar is off. For some reason there, my left engine one didn't go to continuous. I swear I clicked it, but... Yeah, sometimes it does that. I think it's just a desync issue. I definitely clicked it. How the other Southwest was saying hi to us. Oh, were they? Yep, Dawson. Oh, they know us? Southwest 2163, descend and maintain 3000. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they definitely know us. All right, are we going sure. here to 26? Uh, 26 is... Southwest 2163, you good with the... Uh, yes, yeah, so on Zulu, uh, you're looking for Zulu, which is 
Still uh, coming up on the left. left. You got it. Zulu. Oh, I see. I left here. Yeah, left here. <laughs> yep. Look at Louie. It should be here on the left hand side. Turn my taxi light off. We got the gate. Uh, go ahead and you can go on uh, APU Gen if you'd like. All right. Coming on APU Gen. Where the heck is 26 at? Right here. That's 28 20, or 26. That's 23. Okay, so, so we keep, a little keep bit going down. Ago. Yeah, keep going down. Actually, 24. 20, it'll be yeah. This not this next one. Yeah, I see one, it down there. Yeah, where the where the Got black it. van is. Yep, gotcha. Roger three five zero after Oval me Nicely done, now. sir. All right, parking brake is set. Let them up, shut them down. Line them up, shut them down. Oh, oh. I can't see these things. There they are. Yeah, they're in. They're it's the newer cutoff switches. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Beautiful. I will get our do my flows here. I'll put us on uh, Unicom so we can do our shutdown without all the nonsense in the background. Oh, I already muted them. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, okay, we'll put our IRS off. Coming on down. Uh, come on, button. Click that. There we go. All right. I'll get the beacon. Oh, thank you. Yep, and no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Shut down checklist. All right, parking brake. Set. Fuel pump switches. Uh, We got one on. Heat belt signs. Off. Window heat. Is off. Rope heat. Auto. Anti-ice. Off. Electric hydraulic pumps. Off. Air conditioning panel. Is set. Anti-collision light. Off. Engine start levers. Cut off. Transponder. Stand by. Shutdown checklist complete. Welcome to San Jose. Yeah. Good flight, man. Good flying, man. What was our final flight time there on your on your clock? It was 56 minutes. Beautiful. Well, that was uh, pretty good, man. We're definitely going to be uh, throwing the uh, the replay in to see your landing, but it looked uh, looks pretty good, man. Yep. I didn't want to float it too much. Nope. Because you know what? We're going to be submitting that to the Jeff Faviano landing uh, roasted <laughs> challenge. I actually yep. should. We'll roast your You'll be like, I recognize this landing. Yeah. And I would probably tear myself apart <laughs> for all the things I did wrong on it. But that's all right. Dude, your hand flying approach was beautiful. You were bang oh, on. Every, like, oh, that man. was really impressive, man. Like a Dude, lot it was but. amazing because when we turned in on that and you when you hit approach, it hit instantly was right on glide slope and glide path. I yeah. Mean, you couldn't timed it any better that's what you're like it's not working for me like, it's like it, no it, it went <laughs> yeah, i was like i turned it on and then it just came off right away so I, yep. yeah, I was like okay as long as it, you you captured it you're good but yeah any, no. anything to debrief on that my man uh debriefing the only thing is on uh whenever he cleared us to land mm -hmm. uh you didn't say the runway number oh okay you just said you just said clear to land 127 said, you okay. can you can do that but you should say what runway it is that way i don't think they're you know you're like, I'm on 30 right. And they're like, oh, you're supposed to be landing on 30 left. Yep. But that's honestly the only thing I can nitpick. And we missed the beacon at the end, but that's just yeah, not missed, a big deal. I, I don't care about that. It's the beacon. You know, you know me. You've flown with me enough. I don't care about those things. Well, that's, dude, uh, like I was saying before, like, we're so good together with, like, hey, you missed stuff. I missed stuff. Although you didn't miss anything. It was mostly me. But, like, it's just just having that communication, man. It, we can miss stuff. Yep. And uh, we can also let you guys know, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Ryan did uh, make captain. So he's in the right seat this time. Next time I will be in the right seat and he can show you all his captain skills. But he knows this airplane inside and out as much as I do. Um, I, th I think that we're absolutely equal on knowledge. The only thing we don't know is some of the really, really tough stuff in the FMC, which we're both going to learn very soon. Yeah. And obviously, like we, we haven't done like emergency procedures 
because we don't we no. don't factor like we don't fly with those like you can introduce those but that's something to that's a whole another thing to tackle um yep. but yeah like we're we're getting there man and that's awesome we, that was awesome well thank you very much to jeff for absolutely making a little collab here that was awesome buddy and thanks uh, for having me and uh, congrats to jeff by the way if you didn't know jeff is uh is past his s you passed your s1 right as I passed my S1 exam with that USA, uh, I'm about 95% done with my S1 ground control. So if you fly on that sim and you see, check out St. Louis because Jeff's going to be, uh, you're going to be tower out of there, right? Uh, eventually I'll be tower. I want to work that way, but I will start out as a ground controller there. Okay. So he'll be ground out of St. Louis. So uh, be sure to keep watching, you know, uh, sim aware and see if you, if you see Jeff's name over at St. Louis, just come, come fly into his airspace and, uh, and, and you know let's do the uh, what do they call that a sweat box yep i do a sweat box yeah that's the part of the training <laughs> we do yeah well we'll do one of that sim we'll we're, we'll give you some conga lines but <laughs> it's very like he's he's saying that you know i got captain but i'm super impressed that how fast you got that sim controlling done man like it takes people months to do and yep. you, you did yours in like a couple weeks and it's honestly, pretty tough honestly it would have been faster if you had you know the if the availability was there if they had guys ready to yeah. train you right away you would have been done, done even quicker but that's awesome man yeah, yeah and I, I feel like if i do one more session in the sweat box i think i'll be pretty much ready for my exam they just do a over the shoulder exam and then you're pretty much written off t to go do it that is awesome i mean you'll be in you'll be into tower pretty quick you got that tower 3d sim or whatever yep. they call it. you got you got, yeah i'm pretty sure that that how much does that correlate to ATC? Uh, 25%. Perfect. <laughs> it, gets yep. you, it gets you like an appetizer of it. <laughs> it, it really does. It, it's tough stuff. Yeah. It, I'm not, not even going to beat around the bush. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Feel free to... We, we've been streaming this a lot. Jeff's been streaming this a lot. Check out some of our team members as well that are streaming. You got Paul. You got Mav. Uh, you got Honcho. Uh, you got Rookie as well. We'll put their links to their channels as well. They're all on the SoCal team. Um, you got Blue as well. Um, Captain Geo. Captain Canada. Who can forget Captain Canada? Tons of familiar faces on our team. Um, so check out their channels if you haven't. I'm sure a lot of you already have, but I'll throw their, I'll throw their links down in the description as well for those guys. But uh, thanks again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the flight, and we'll see you later. See you. See you.